talk about wild and crazy and interesting and yet another story showing the clash of biased politics and businesses in San Francisco, a pair of progressive San Francisco lawmakers pushing a bill that will allow residents in the city to sue grocery stores that close up shop if they do not give six months notice. And more details. Seriously. Now, this proposal by the San Francisco Board of Supervisors members Dean Preston and Aaron Peskin would require businesses in San Francisco to either find a successor grocer or work out a plan with residents in the neighborhood to ensure the availability of supermarket options. It's called the Grocery Protection Act. It's based on a proposal the board approved back in 1984, but was vetoed by then San Francisco Mayor Dianne Feinstein. And this proposal comes amid a series of highly publicized retail theft fueled by the city's drug and homelessness crisis that has led to several business closures. And for the record, Feinstein, who would go on to become a U.S. Senator from 1992 until her death last year at the age of 90, said at the time that the policy was in quotes, an unnecessary intrusion of governmental regulatory authority. But apparently, Preston does not feel the same way. In fact, he says in a press release that it was a good idea in 1984, and it's an even better idea now. Preston, who introduced the legislation last week, floated the proposal in January when a Safeway supermarket in the Fillmore section announced it would close in March. Safeway, which operates 15 locations in San Francisco, sold the 3.68 acres of land to a real estate developer that plans to build a mixed-use project that will encompass both housing and commercial retail. But this is about more than just Safeway selling to a real estate developer. Whole Foods closing its Market Street location last year after there were 568 emergency calls logged in a 13-month period due to incidents such as vagrants throwing food, yelling, fighting, stealing and even attempting to defecate on the floor and this all according to the new york times at least 14 arrests made at that location but the proposal does have a few caveats the new ordinance would exempt supermarkets and grocery stores that close because of a natural disaster or business circumstances that are not in quotes reasonably foreseeable Good luck defining that in a court of law. The bill also has a few more eyebrow-raising caveats. If a store closes without providing notice to the Board of Supervisors, as well as the Office of Economic and Workforce Development, the OEWD, those affected by the closure would be entitled to sue for damages. This all according to the language of this proposed ordinance. So if the market closes, doesn't give a six-month notice to those two institutions, and if they do not meet and work in good faith with the neighborhood residents and the OEWD, then you can expect lawsuits in the near future if you shut your doors. So with all these details out and about, what do you think will happen to this proposal in San Francisco? Will this become law? Can it become law? Is San Francisco doomed? Will the California exodus continue? Will markets want to open up shop in the Bay Area knowing that the red tape to close up shop will be harder than opening up shop? So many questions, no real logical answers yet. Is this going way too far in one direction? Why is this even being proposed amid a series of other serious crimes out there? Lots of issues that have to be addressed. Share your thoughts on all of this in the comments below. And for Modern Wall Street, I'm James Swinney.